Okay, problem number 20 is Jose and Tina are studying geometric transformations. Okay? Dan, can you let me, or write me a letter of recommendation? I need three of them. Yeah. Um, if we follow the reflection across the x axis, then where that would put this is right here. This one would be one, one, two, three and a half. So one, two, three and a half. This one would be two, one, two. Okay. And so this would be your reflection. Now when we reflect it across the y-axis, it would go one, two, so one, two. Then it would go one, two, three. So it would be one, two, three. And then it would go one, two. So it would be one, two. Right? Wait a minute. Two. All right, and that would be your. And then translate two two units right. And two units right, which is kind of funky here, would put me back to here. Wouldn't even be correct to begin with. But uh, even if it were correct, right? Because this would flip right here, sit across, reflection across the x-axis, reflection across the y-axis, right? What you would want to do is reflect it across the y-axis first. But that would still only bring you to here. Right? Now that would bring you back down to here, which would bring you right back to here. Which would be fine, is what this guy, the, what Jose is saying is, oh, no matter what you do, um, it'll always land on it. But that's not true. If we translate first to right, then that's going to push us to right over here. Okay? It'll not end up, it'll end up further away from the x-axis than, uh, than if we did these two, the reflections. So... It's true that the reflections can be done in either order, but it's not true that the translation can be done first or last. It has to be done in the order in which you want it done. So, the claim that Tina has is incorrect, and the, result, and the reason is because the translations have to be done in the order in which they're set.